Let's go to our audience questions. Welcome to Climate One. Thank you for having yet another wonderful Climate One evening. I'm Holly Kaufman. And my question is, it was my understanding that during the recent sequestration budget cuts that we were going to be losing some important weather and climate observation satellites. Could you explain to us the importance of those satellites and what the status is, whether we have them or not? Thank you. Did everyone hear the question? Um, <clears throat> there are a series of satellites uh, that fly uh, that are equipped with either weather and or climate instruments that give us information that's invaluable, that allow us to predict the weather as well as uh, track climate change. Um, some of those satellites uh, are operated by NOAA, uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Others are operated by NASA uh, and some by some other agencies, but those are the two main players here. Um, when I went to NOAA uh, in beginning of 2009, we had inherited a um, weather satellite program that uh, had been dysfunctional for many, many years. It had real serious management problems because of the way it had been structured. And we, uh, the satellites that are in space now are doing a great job of providing scientific information that allows us to predict the weather. And over 90% of the data that go into the weather models come from satellites. So it's critically important that we have those satellites. Uh, we fixed the management of that program uh, and then had to get the resources from Congress to continue building these weather satellites. Our intention was to have climate instruments on those satellites as well as weather instruments. The program has become more and more expensive through time and it's been a real challenge to get it funded uh, at all. Uh, I was on the Hill talking to members of Congress about how important these weather satellites were. We'd fix the management problems. And one member of uh, Congress said to me, Doctor, I don't need your weather satellites. I've got the Weather Channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, boy, do I need to take a few steps back and start <laughs> all over again. Now, if it's that hard to get weather instruments funded and weather satellites funded, it's a lot harder to get instruments, uh, climate instruments on satellites. And the budget cuts have actually created some real havoc with the satellite programs. Uh, and it's delayed them, which increases the likelihood that there will be a period of time where we won't have that coverage uh, and we'll be uh, able to do weather forecasts that are sort of the quality that we had 30, 40 years ago, not the quality that we have today. Uh, and there is real danger that many of the climate instruments uh, are not going to be funded and not going to fly on satellites. And it's an economic issue. Uh, in, in other words, it takes dollars to do it. But the problem began before the shutdown, before the sequestration, but those have exacerbated it. And as we look ahead to stabilizing federal funding, it's really important that we pay attention to funding sources for those climate and weather instruments because they're both incredibly important. 